What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can create our own PC tech USB toolkit now quite a few people that watch my channel are PC repair techs and they wanted to uh, make me to make a video on creating a USB flash drive with some tools that you can use in PC repair so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you some of the basics that you can do okay now this is not all the tools that I would put onto a USB thumb drive uh, but these are just some of the tools that you can use now remember some of these tools are paid for and you will need to purchase these before you uh, can add these to your thumb drive okay so anyway let's get started so I've got a thumb drive uh, plugged into my computer here as you can see and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to format this and this is just a 32 gig uh, sand, sand disk uh, USB thumb drive ultra speed and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be using um, this toolkit here to use. So we're going to be putting in there spin rights, uh, C tools, PC unlocker, PC uh, rescue kit, uh, mini tool partition wizard, and also uh, Comboot, and also Kaspersky, Hiren's boot CD, and a Cronus uh, True Image, the bootable uh, version. And we're going to be using this tool to do our job for us. So we're going to open this up. And uh, you can see uh, this is our thumb drive already detected here. So the first thing that I want to do is open up RM Prep USB. Now you don't have to use this, you could use uh, the tools that are built into uh, here as well, but I'm going to be using uh, the RM Prep USB that's built into it. So uh, first off, what we want to do is make sure we've got our selection up the top here and uh, we're going to be doing either uh, we'll do NTFS on this one and uh, boot as hard drive here and uh, we're going to prepare our drive now you can see here it's uh, asking us to select OK here and it's going to erase all the drive completely clean so I'm going to click OK and it will go through its process of uh, formatting the drive and getting it prepared okay so that part is now done what we want to do now is going to install grub for dos going to say yes here click ok and then we need to push enter on the keyboard going to click ok again and that's now complete so what we're going to do is close this off and now we can start to build our USB flash drive. We can uh, do the contiguous uh, afterwards, but what we're gonna do first is add in some of our software. And once we've uh, located our drive with all our ISOs, we can then start to click on what we want to add to it. So as you can see here, it wants us to we can change these later on, but I'm just gonna quickly uh, change these now. And then click go now I've got this plugged into my USB 2.0 port instead of my 3.1 port now you can see it copying the files across to finish copying large file and it's telling you to wait it's just going to add that across should say job done click OK and now we can add in another one So I'm going to add uh, Hiram's boot CD and again we need to change this to what we want. We can change these afterwards, click go and uh, we'll just let that copy across and that's our job done and we can just repeat this process through to Kaspersky. And again, I can change these a little bit later on if I want to. I'm just going to leave that as is and I'll change it afterwards. And click on go. And that's job done. I'm going to continue on the same path here. I'm going to do mini tool now. Now mini tool is a great tool
Now I'm only going to be doing the 64-bit one here, but if you want to do the 32-bit one, you can do the 32-bit as well. I'm just going to put the 64-bit one on, since this is just for me. And I'm just going to continue on. And we've got PC Unlocker here, but I've got Paragon Rescue Kit, we'll do that one as well. And PC Unlocker, this is going to allow us to uh, remove passwords for computers. And once we've got this one done, move on to the next one. And our C tools. Just leave that as is. And I'll just add one more in. Uh, spin right now again you can add whatever you like in here uh, again you'd have to purchase some of these uh, but basically you can add whatever you like in to make your own toolkit and it does save you a lot of time so that one's now done and uh, what we want to do now is now we've got all those in I'm just going to quickly go up to uh, it's RM Prep USB. And I want to come down here and make all files on the drive contiguous. And say yes to this. That's that done. And uh, also, what I want to do is go into Boot Ice. And uh, once we're in Boot Ice, we can then go to utilities and start menu editor locate our menu here and I've got um, I'm going to change this time here to 15 and I've got a, a menu that I've created a graphic menu so I'm just going to add this in right now and I have this here This is my graphics menu, so I'm going to be putting this onto my pen into here, and I'm going to paste that inside there. And you can see, you can name this what you like here, but I'm just going to quickly copy this one and open up Boot Ice here and the menu back here and paste paste this into here, like so. And then once I've done this, I can just change the titles. So I don't want any dots inside here. So I'm just going to quickly remove these. It doesn't give you much chance to do that. So I'm just going to quickly change some of these titles here. And uh, I'm going to move through. And I want to just put a capital there. Get rid of the V and then just put a capital R and we'll leave that there and move down and that's okay Comboots that's fine could maybe put these as capitals just to I'm gonna move on down to mini tool that's fine as it is and that's fine and that is fine as well so what we need to do here now is we need to save this you can spend more time doing yours I've done a lot of these and spent a lot more time uh, doing other ones but this is just a quick uh, video to show you what to do so now we can just test our uh, menu here by using the test in QEMU so I'm going to push go here now remember this is done in memory so it'll be a bit slow it'll be a lot faster when you boot up to your USB flash drive so this is what the menu system is going to look like like so you can spend a lot more time doing yours you can see you've got the timer here your time 
and you can create your own artwork here but basically uh, you can see here we've got our Acronis, Hiram's boot and also Kaspersky, Kombu, Mini Tool and so on. C tools and if you want to test them out you can just push on them like so and that's what I advise you to do is test them to make sure they all work and you want to make sure that uh, everything's working fine and you can see here we've got um, this working fine I'll just do one more for you just to show you you can add mem test in there which will be another good one to add into your toolkit I mean I've added a loads of loads of other stuff in uh, but generally you can add in what you like as long as you can get it to boot properly you need to test all these to make sure they're booting up okay um, to make sure everything's working fine and again uh, it's entirely up to you what you put on there you can see here com boot and pretty much that's it so I'm gonna exit with on that uh, I'll test all this another time but that's basically how you can create your own PC tech USB toolkit uh, using a win setup from USB it's a pretty awesome tool and you can set up all your USB flash drives uh, to do all your toolkits and uh, I would advise you to go and buy a bunch of USB flash drives and have one for data recovery one for malware removal maybe I'll make another one just to show you how to make your own malware stuff and uh, that will be it. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. So I hope it helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or, or anything like that, problems with your computers, you can always head over to the forums and join up over there. It doesn't cost you anything to join and join the community. Remember, post all your stuff on there. You've got much more chance of getting seen on there than... Uh, posting video requests on comments because I don't always see all the comments and if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page you can just join over there just hit the like button and you become a fan of my channel anyway thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and I shall see you again in the next video thanks again bye for now